there is a link between your previous films, Perfect Execution and Solitude, and Bayonet. The link is a gun and shooting. Could you tell us something more about this theme? Why is it in the center of your interest? Uh, well, I think it's, it's different in each film. It's used differently in each one. Um, but I grew up watching you know, a lot of films that were you know, uh, uh, westerns, gangster films, uh, political dramas where usually you know, uh, a lot of these culminate in a gunfight. And so I think that influenced each one of these films. But in each one, it's used differently uh, in the plot. But in terms of thematically, what the common thing is, is I think it's something that's used to uh, break an illusion that the characters have in a very dramatic way, you know, with a gunshot. That's what I see as, you know, common among them. Your film was inspired by the political dramas of the 70s. Could you tell us if there's any film in, in particular that directly influenced Bayonet? Yeah, uh, there's a few actually, uh, and they all sort of came out around the uh, mid-1970s. Um, films like The Parallax View, All the President's Men, The Conversation, uh, there's one called Scorpio that takes place in Europe. Uh, all of these were political thrillers, you know, where you have uh, uh, either regular people running around trying to uncover a conspiracy, or you had government agents, you know, uh, operating in a world that we don't usually see. And you know, these were some of the first films that I grew up watching on home video. And so I think when I made this film, I was thinking a lot about those and, and wanted to make something that would fit uh, within that genre. And maybe the last question, could you tell us more about the technical aspect of making your film? Because the image quality you have achieved is something pretty rare for a short independent film. Uh, yeah, we, we worked with, uh, well, myself and the cinematographer, uh, who, who really, you know, the. The credit goes to him in terms of uh, introducing me to uh, the Alexa camera, which I hadn't worked with before, uh, Russian anamorphic lenses, which I'd also not worked with before. I typically worked with uh, uh, spherical lenses. Uh, he and I, you know, in discussing these films that uh, influenced this script and the look that I was going after, uh, we basically brought these lenses and cameras or, or camera together, um, along with some additional equipment, in order to to record a higher level of image quality than just the camera itself would allow. Um, that really gave us a lot of tools that we could then go into post-production and, and uh, you know, work with color and work with contrast to, to generate the image that we have in the final film.